Welcome back to another video guys and as always thank you for tuning in. Today we are at King's Dominion if you can see behind me and as the haunt season starts to come around one of my favorite things to do is head to the parks and check out what is going on with the preparation for their haunted event. Here at King's Dominion it's Halloween haunt and we want to go inside today and check out and see what construction updates have been done. We've recently been doing a lot of construction updates for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, but Haunt here at King's Dominion opens a little bit later, so it starts a little bit later, but I believe some things have gone up. So let's get inside the park and have some fun. We are in, and we pay respects to the beautiful fountains here at King's Dominion. And it looks like, man, look at the flowers here and the entrance by the sign. They look beautiful. But we are here today for Halloween Haunt Construction. So like I said, Halloween Haunt does start a little bit later here at King's Dominion. It starts September 24th and runs through October 30th on select nights. Fear is waiting for you. I have seen online some construction has been going up this early and we're gonna go check it out today. And we stop really quick and we take a quick look at the map because with the all new area jungle expedition this year, we're gonna have a new scare zone in that area as well as a new scare zone in the center walkway, which when we get there, we'll talk about. One of the cool things here is some of the um, houses are coming back this year. So one of them that frequents the event is Cornstalker over here and they really never take it down. I'm sure they do maintenance and touch-ups on it, but you could see that the facade is around year round here at King's Dominion. We have that band playing over there, but just under the Eiffel Tower, it looks like some of the props for Blood Masquerade have begun to go up. And these are very distinct to the Masquerade. I remember these from last year, so absolutely our first little bit of construction here at King's Dominion. And just behind the Eiffel Tower is where we find Center Street, which we were talking about just a moment ago. That's where we will have the Scare Zone Uprising on Center Street. The Doswell Survivor Society is here to help locate and Center Street. We hold a safe haven from the zombie horde. Proceed with caution as bloodthirsty undead are seeking their meals. See you soon. Now this year we aren't getting a whole bunch of new things at the park, but the things that we are getting new are pretty awesome. We're getting a sixth house, last year we only had five. In addition to two new scare zones, one of them being in the jungle expedition area, which is the new area of the park. And it'll be themed to like the jungle expedition area, so it'll be super cool. Now we continue to make our way through, I believe over by Pumpkin Eater, some of the props have begun to go up there as well. And that easily was my favorite scare zone last year. Now, although the facade for Condemned has not gone up yet, you could already see that some of the work has gone in, at least for the entrance over here. Typically, there is like a house facade right here, but that should be coming soon. They still have about a month before the event actually starts, but you could see some of like the bloodied walls and whatnot decorations over there for Condemned. All right, let's keep making our way towards Pumpkin Eater. I think I already could see some of the props. Oh yeah, Pumpkin Eater is coming along. They got a lot up actually for Pumpkin Eater. 
some of the things covered up, I'm sure, for the kitties, but this guy's pretty terrifying. This outhouse over here is definitely for the event. And then on the opposite end over there, they had some more props, but a lot going up in this area, and I'm loving it. here by Grizzly. We do have returning this year a house that was new last year which is Grim Woods which is basically all like these fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood and whatnot all put together into one haunted walk. I look forward to seeing that one again and hopefully they make some changes. Last year it was a little wide the walking path so it kind of took away from the scares. If they narrow it a little bit I think it can make a huge difference to the scare factor of that walkthrough. And now over here towards the back of the park, in between Windseeker and our Twisted Timber, we have Blood on the Bayou. And it doesn't look like much has gone up, at least not yet. But this was also a channel favorite last year. I had a great time going through this one. Typically they'll have like a house facade somewhere around here, at least a walking path to get yourself to a house facade. Last year they also had a photo op opportunity here, which was super cool and unique for a haunted event. So I look forward to that one returning as we get to uh, Jungle Expedition, we'll see some of the new things coming to the event this year. And as we make our way through Candy Apple Grove, here we do have two returning offerings, one of them being a scare zone and the other being a house. The house is right over here, let's talk about it. Over in this building we have Trick or Treat returning this year, and this was also an awesome house with the Coven of Witches, and last year there was like a little hole here in the, the tinting and I think they may have painted over it, but I remember we were able to kind of go like so and see through, but no, it looks like they've actually masked it up, so you can't see what's going on inside. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move was on the And just in this area, kind of the center of Candy Apple Grove, and where Soak City entrance is, is where the Cleaver Brothers Carnival is. Typically a scare zone, very cool scare zone with a bunch of clowns and uh, like circus acts. And then they also have some bands and, sh and like performers that come out this way as well. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself. Took a quick break to grab some pizza and get a bite real quick. Also, cool down. It is a, a warm day here in Virginia. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this year, I'm super excited for this event to come around. Um, I'm glad to see that a lot of houses are returning and we also get some new ones in addition. Um, that being said, this was one of my favorite, if, if not my favorite event here locally in Northern Virginia. Halloween Horror Nights always has a special place in my heart, which we will be heading there for the opening weekend coming this coming weekend. So it's crazy. A haunt season is upon us. But let's take a quick look. As far as the new house that's coming to King's Dominion's Haunt, I'm, you know, the description doesn't tell you too much. Um, and it's also over at Snoopy, which I, I don't remember any of the houses ever being in that area. So I'm not familiar with where exactly it will be. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Um, but we definitely will head that way and investigate to see if we can see anything. All right, our bellies are full. We're done with food, and we witnessed the scariest part of King's Dominion that's year-round, which is the mushroom band with the toad here. And they actually do perform. I thought for the longest they didn't, but they do. All right, let's make our way into Jungle Expedition and see if any construction is going on there. And now we are in Jungle Expedition and we still see the remnants of Let's Get Wild. Their very unique and cool show that was held here in like the courtyard area throughout the summer season and now has ended. Hopefully they bring that back next year. But I have a feeling the new scare zone is gonna be right over here where there was a scare zone last year. I just wonder how they're gonna utilize the space this year. So last year, the scare zone was right back here, right next to the ride. And as you enter Jungle Expedition, the difference is there was no Jungle Expedition area over there where Tumbilia is. There was a wall up and it turned to the left over here. 
But now with that open in the back, I wonder if they're gonna utilize this area again or maybe do it over there where the Let's Get Wild show was doing, or showing. But it is Site X and this would be Site X, I guess you could say, since it's the newest area of the park. And you do have like some jungle feel here with all the bamboo and trees. So it would be very easy to convert this into what they describe in the description. What they describe in the description. Oh, I'm so good at this English thing. Perfect. Out of Jungle Expedition we go and into Camp Snoopy, or Planet Snoopy. Let's see if we can figure out where they would host this new house. Now, I feel like I'm wrong, but the only place that I could think of is Boo Blasters. But is Boo Blasters even part of Planet Snoopy? I actually don't think so, because the Entry and exit sign to Planet Snoopy is right over here, and we're on the opposite end. So there's got to be somewhere that I'm missing. Let's keep walking through. Okay, I'm really having trouble figuring out where in Planet Snoopy it's going to be, but please, if you know, let me know in the comments below. But this is the only place I could think of, the Peanuts Show Place. I'm not sure if there's enough space back there, you know, outside of the, like, I guess the uh, bleachers, but maybe? I've never actually been in here. Alrighty guys, I think that does it. We made our whole entire, like, roundabout the park. We couldn't find exactly where they're gonna put that house in Planet Snoopy, but we know that the new house is going in Planet Snoopy. I'm sure soon enough we will get some maps or somebody in the comments will let me know and we'll figure that out, but we will be back a few more times. Next weekend we won't be back because next weekend I'll be in Orlando for Halloween Horror Nights, their opening weekend. So make sure to check that out. Your support to the channel goes a really long way. Uh, but we'll be back after that to check out some more construction updates here at King's Dominion for their Halloween hunt. As well as we'll be going to the opening night of Bush Gardens, Howl Scream. So many things coming down the pipeline, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We saw Pumpkin Eater. We saw some other construction, some houses that are coming and returning and have already been up the whole entire year. So I'm super excited to come see Halloween Haunt to be here opening night to capture it for you guys. I'll see you on the next video. But don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained?